If this message finds you, just know that you're worth way more than the situation that you're in. See, a lot of the time that we're going through situations and we think that we are the situations. We start putting our emotions with the situations. We start, we start to think that we're worthless. We start to think that God doesn't have anything for us. We don't have a purpose. But I just want to let you know that to keep going, keep fighting, keep surrendering, keep believing that God has something bigger for you because he does. Throughout the Bible, God has a purpose for each and everybody that he's called. And you might be going through this situation because God is preparing you. And I know that sometimes you don't even want to wake up. It doesn't seem like life is fair. It seems like every time when you try, it seems like something is pushing you back. It's like your effort is not amounting to something but I'm just letting you know that every single thing happened for a reason. The race is not finished. You're halfway there. And if you end up running back, then you have, you would be running back from the half that you were running to anyways. So just keep going, keep believing. Because one thing I know about God is that he is not going to bring you halfway just to leave you there. He's going to bring you to the finish line. He's going to bring you to the finish line. And I know that it's hard. I know that it's you're tired of trying. I know that it's it, you might feel like it's not fair. I know that you're exhausted. But that's the thing. That's why we have a father. We have a father that will be able to lift our strength. It says, cast your anxiety and your burden onto me and I'll give you rest. Cast your burden and your anxiety onto the Lord. And I know Sometimes we're saying, I'm casting my anxiety onto the Lord. I'm giving him all my burdens. So why do I feel so tired? Why is nothing happening for me? Why I'm working and working and it seems like the more that I work, the more that I lose. But just continue to abide in God. Because one thing I know, another one thing I know is that we're going to go through, there's going to be seasons of pruning. There's going to be season of um, where we have to get certain things taken out from us so that we can move into the next season that God has for us. There's going to be moments where God is just renewing us. He's purifying our thoughts. He's using us for different situations so that we can be in the situation that he wants us to be in. So don't lose hope. Be joyful in this season. Be joyful in this season. Get up and still continue on because God can. God sees your faithfulness. He sees that you're trying to hold on. He sees your heart. So don't dwell in the sadness because the sadness is merely temporary. Trust me. I can tell you that because I was in a season of sadness, a season of isolation, a season where I felt like nothing was happening for me. The more that I worked, the more that I lose, it seemed like I was just tired of going through all the pruning of you know, it seems like there's always something wrong that I had to fix. But the issue was I didn't have to fix anything. That's God's job. I was doing it in my own strength and I wasn't allowing God to take control. So that season took longer. And I just want to give you... um hope right now that even if you're in the wilderness season right now, God is there. God is there. Tune in with his voice. Uh, follow the direction that he's giving you and allow him to lead. Because as the Israelites was in the wilderness season, they complained. They wanted to give up. They started worshiping false God. They started doing evil and that pushed them back years and years because of their own sin. And I just want to give you encouragement that you're almost there. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel like you want to give up. But don't give in to that because that's exactly what the enemy wants. You are God's going to use you to be big. And I whoever this lands or wherever page or however you're seeing this this is meant for you because i know that there's a lot of people that are feeling this way right now there's a lot of people that are feeling like they want to give up but i just pray that everything will go in the favor that god wants for your life that you don't give up and you keep persevere you keep going because if i would have given up i wouldn't have been here giving this um word right now i would not be here so proverbs 3 5 through 6 trust in the lord with all of your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your pay your path straight trust in the lord with all of your heart don't lean on what you're seeing right now don't lean on what you're going through don't lean on what your eyes can see lean on what god has said lean on what the word has said lean on what god told you a year ago a couple months ago a week ago have patience and dwell in the lord take some time with the Lord, spend some time with the Lord and believe that God is a God that is faithful. He's a God that's never lie. He's a God that will show up even when we think that he's not showing up. 
you got this this week will be a great week well it's already wednesday but the rest of the week will be a peaceful joyful week i'm speaking that over your life you already won you have the victory from the moment jesus died on the cross and rose you have the victory it's dwelling inside of you claim that victory claim it over your life allow the spirit to lead allow the, the spirit to lead you into peace to joy to love even when your situation is none of that Talk to you later.